Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have the EX-230 Pro KVM HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality from our good friends at O-Ray. This product was designed to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 70 meters away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 LAN cable. Now, before I get too deep into all the features that make this a really special product, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you buy this product. And then I'll list the features because this product has got a lot of cool features built in that really make it easy to share that HDMI media content and to remotely control the computer at the primary side using the KVM functionality. I'll also take a closer look at both modules and explain the connections and indicators. And then finally, I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this HDMI extension kit that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module and the receiver module. You'll find a set of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll also find a specialty cable that's used to connect the transmitter to your computer if you decide to use the KVM functionality. This is a dual USB-A connection. One end plugs into the transmitter, the other end plugs into your computer. You'll also find two power supplies. These are DC 5 volt, 1 half amp power supplies. You'll plug one end into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it which plugs into the module and provides all the power you'll need for operation. Finally, They've also included a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other details you'll need to understand about this product to use it correctly. Now, as far as features go, this kit is designed essentially to transmit HDMI media content over a LAN cable to a remote location. Again, 4K up to 40 meters, 1080p up to 70 meters. But in addition to that, O-Ray has built in a local loopback functionality at the primary site, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to your remote location. So that means you can actually enjoy the content at both locations at the same time. Another important feature is the KVM functionality, which allows you to connect up a keyboard and mouse at the remote site and have those control signals sent all the way back over that same LAN cable to the primary site so you can remotely control a computer. So it allows you to operate a computer from that second remote site that's located at the primary site. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules and explain the connections, and then I'll come back and point out some key features, again, that separates this from a lot of other HDMI extension kits on the market. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, as well as a specialized cable that's used to connect the transmitter module up to a computer if you decide to use the KVM functionality. It's a dual USB-A cable. One end plugs into the transmitter, the other end plugs into the computer you'd like to control. Now, both modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable, so you know they're going to last a long time. I'll start with the transmitter module. You'll notice there are holes on either side that can be used with the bracketing kit to mount these up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end, you'll find a reset button that can be used to reset the module if needed. You'll hold that in for a couple of seconds. The module will reboot and come back online. To the right of that is a LAN port. That's where one end of the cable between the two modules plugs in. Again, it's got to be a CAT6, 6A, or CAT7. To the right of that is a USB port, and that's used with the included cable. You'll make a connection between here and the computer you'd like to control so that the keyboard and mouse signals can make it down to the computer for complete control. To the right of that is a KVM indicator. The minute you plug this into a computer, that connection will be checked by the module. Once it's been verified, the KVM light will come on letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to this module, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. On the other end, you'll find a DC input port here that's used with the included power supply. You'll plug the power supply into the wall. The barrel connector plugs right in there. To the right of that are two full-size HDMI ports, HDMI in. This connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. Standard HDMI cable there. The HDMI out port allows you to use the local loopback functionality here at the primary site by connecting a cable between here and a local monitor so you can simultaneously enjoy the content here that you're transmitting to the remote location. The receiver module is fairly similar. You've got holes on either side for mounting the brackets. On the back, again, you've got a reset button, another LAN port. That's where the other end of the cable between the modules plugs in. To the right of that are two full-sized USB-A ports, and these are for connecting a keyboard and mouse at the remote location. Another KVM indicator, when you connect the mouse or keyboard up, that'll light up, letting you know you have a solid connection. Another power indicator, again, once it passes power on self-test, that'll light up. 
On the other end, you'll find another DC port right there that's used for the second power supply. To the right of that is a three and a half millimeter output port. It's analog audio. This provides audio extraction capabilities and will pass analog audio through that port to a local sound bar or home stereo system for better quality audio. Finally, there's an HDMI output port right here, and that's connected to the local monitor at the remote location so you can enjoy the content. That's pretty much it for the two modules. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are some of the things that I really like about this particular HDMI extension kit that you can use to compare it to others on the market. The first thing is, I love the fact that it's got local loopback functionality at the primary site because a lot of these kits, it's an either or situation. You can either watch the content here or you can share it with a remote location and not watch the content here. And that's not great because you may still want to enjoy a movie here while you're sharing it with somebody else. So having the local loopback functionality allows you to do that. I also like the fact that this kit includes KVM functionality, which means you can connect up a keyboard and mouse here, either wired or wireless, and remotely control the computer that's located here. One other feature that I didn't mention earlier is the fact that the remote receiver includes audio extraction capabilities, which essentially strips the audio from the HDMI media stream that's arriving at that location and allows you to pass that analog audio along to a sound bar or home stereo system for better quality audio. So O-Ray has done a great job in providing a really functional HDMI extension kit with the KVM functionality that's easy to use. It's reasonably priced. I've used it for quite some time. I like it an awful lot and I think you will as well. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.